We're back with RuPaul, and now it's time for him to answer my burning questions. And uh, let's see how, if we trust him or not. Okay, if you didn't go by RuPaul, what would you go by? Cupcake. Very, very angry. <laughs> Sorry, Sorry, I didn't know it was yeah. so tender. Well, you're very, you're yeah. very strong. Yeah. What's the most surprising thing, uh, Cupcake, that uh, you did to make money before you were famous? Okay, legal? Is that we're talking legal stuff? No, just surprising. Surprising. Um, I used to sell dime bags. <laughs> oh, that's, I'm sorry. This You're going to break scary. the entire I'm thing. I'm so sorry. You don't have that kind of budget. I didn't know my own strength. You sold dime bags. Uh-huh. Little bags that have dimes in yeah. them. You know, it's helpful. Because a lot of times people are driving cars and they want to park a car and they don't have... Dimes. They don't have dimes. Right. And you need dimes to put in the meter. So I would sell them to them. Absolutely. Tell us something naughty you did in the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, well, all right. Well, if it's too naughty, you'll cut it out, yeah, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. You know, I was... <laughs> all right. I was working up on 55th Street at a club called uh, Red Zone, and I, I finished my shift, and I was going down to a club uh, in the East Village called The World, and the cab driver took me down there. This is about a $9 cab ride, right? So he said, listen, hey, if you put your foot over the front seat, he will give me the fare for free. Ellen, it was a $9 fare. So I just put my foot over the front seat. He did what he needed to do. And I, I got out of the cab without having to pay. <laughs> it was a $9 fare. Nine... And in the 80s, $9 was a lot in the 80s, you know, so. Nine dollars. I mean, would I mean, would you do the same thing? It wasn't. It didn't hurt anybody. You know. Nah, would I? Yeah. Would you do the same thing? Uh. Uh. -uh. Was, you know, you, you just put your foot I know, yeah, over. I know. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. Mm. Mm. I mean, okay. I guess I should have said I was wearing some gorgeous high heels. They were beautiful, and um, a lot of people are into that kind of thing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Really interesting. Oh, were you shocked by that? Is that? No, I like it and I want more. <laughs> All right. When they make a movie about your life, who would you want to play you? The Olsen twins. <laughs> <laughs> who would you want to play your love interest? Um, um, oh, little baby Home Alone, uh, Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> Right. What word always makes you laugh? Mexicatessen. <laughs> you see, it's a portmanteau. It's combining two words together, Mexican and delicatessen. It's a Mexicatessen, where they have delicious Mexican treats. It's a Mexicatessen. Isn't that funny? It's hilarious. It makes me laugh. I love that word, Mexicatessen. Say it to yourself, Mexicatessen. I just love that. <laughs> I just love that. <laughs> How about this? How about what do you get when you cross a magician and uh, a, a standard poodle? Uh, I don't know. What do you get when you cross a magician and a standard poodle? An abracadabra doodle. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. All right. How, <laughs> How do you feel about glitter? I, it's one, I think it's Mariah Carey's best movie. <laughs> Season 14 premieres this Friday, January 7th at 8 on VH1. We'll be back. RuPaul, Charles, everybody.